family heirlooms, priceless gems, and destroyed sports cars. These are just a few of the objects that are plagued by spirits from the great beyond. Today on Graveyard Shift Ranked, the most terrifying cursed objects that actually exist. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe to Graveyard Shift to stay up to date on all your horror needs. <laughs> Number 10, Robert the Doll. There's a long-standing tradition of creepy dolls in pop culture. From Annabelle to Chucky, Americans have been plagued by nightmares of animated toys and evil playthings for a long time. Well, many of these fictional dolls owe their stories to Robert the Doll, the real-life living toy. In 1906, a servant of the Otto family who felt wronged by his employers cursed a doll and gave it to Robert, the youngest member of the family, before leaving their employment. Robert, being a small child, named the doll after himself. What transpired next fundamentally warped the boy's life. He claimed to hear the doll talking and see it move. Eventually, he became friends with it. The doll's presence in Robert's life fundamentally altered its trajectory. Many have blamed Robert's struggles with alcohol and inability to find employment later in life on the doll. After Robert prematurely passed away, Robert the doll was given to a young girl whose parents unknowingly purchased it at a yard sale. Robert the doll allegedly attacked the young girl in her sleep, almost killing her. Today, it's kept in the East Martello Museum, where if you want to take a photo with it, you have to ask it nicely or risk being cursed. Number nine, the phone number 359-888-888-8888. Believe it or not, three people with the number 359-888-888-888 have all died horribly disturbing deaths. What kind of deaths, you ask? Bizarrely, one died of radioactive poisoning, another was shot while crossing the street, and a third was killed in his apartment by a shotgun blast. One of the theories is that the phone number belonged to a former mafia hitman who returns from the grave to take the lives of anyone using his phone number. Another is that the phone number was used to make a call to kill an elected official, and the negative energy around this horrific crime is trapped in the phone number and still follows its user to this day. Number 8. Thomas Busby's Chair Thomas Busby was a man who had always walked a dark path. His life was filled with mistakes, petty grievances, and attempted slights. But it took a much sharper turn than usual when after a rage-filled argument, he murdered his father. It's said that after he realized what he had done, Thomas sat in shock in a wooden chair on the porch for hours. Today, there's an urban legend connected with the chair. Supposedly, four people who have sat in the chair have passed away under mysterious circumstances. As such, the chair was purchased by the Thirsk Museum and put on display in a collection of purportedly haunted items. <laughs> Number 7. Annabelle the Doll Annabelle has reached a new level of infamy since the release of a popular film based on her existence. The true story is that a doll was gifted to a young nurse who had experienced an unexplainable phenomenon connected with it. Eventually, a bishop and paranormal investigator Ed Warren became involved to help to extricate the young woman from the clutches of the possessed doll. The doll was subsequently taken by Ed Warren and kept in his museum of haunted artifacts. It's still there to this day. Legions of people flocked to it, attempting to witness the dark energy coursing through its black button eyes. Number 6. Delhi Purple Sapphire Colonel W. Ferris was a man of many talents. Chief among them, he had sticky fingers. In 1857, he stole the Delhi Purple Sapphire from the Temple of Indra. You would think that stealing a priceless gem would make you a very wealthy man, but you'd think wrong in Colonel Ferris's case. You see, he basically immediately went bankrupt. He struggled with money for the rest of his life. Soon after the Colonel stole the Delhi Purple Sapphire, his best friend committed suicide while wearing the gem. The sapphire within passed from the colonel to one of his close friends, who quickly discovered the bizarre happenings that surrounded it. The friend attempted to throw it away, not wanting anything more to do with the priceless jewel. But every time he attempted to get rid of the stone, it would reappear in his house again. Number 5. The Crying Boy Painting Bruno Amadio was an illustrator and painter working in England during World War II. After the war ended, one of his paintings, titled The Crying Boy, was mass-produced and widely purchased by citizens of the UK. Who was this boy? 
Why did it connect so deeply with the British people? No one knows. The identity of Amadio's subject has been lost to time. Was the boy's life taken prematurely? Was there some sort of curse that transferred itself from the boy to his image and then to the owners of the portrait? No one knows. The only undeniable fact is that almost every single one of the households that owned the portrait was eventually enveloped in flames. The only surviving possession of the occupants in these strange cases? A simple replica oil painting of a young boy softly weeping. Number four, Anna Baker's wedding dress. Anna Baker was a woman with a deep well of passion. She and her beau were engaged to be married when her father, Elias, stepped in and stopped it. He then took her wedding dress and gave it to the neighboring townswoman. This conflict broke Anna Baker's heart. She never married, and a virtual plague of otherworldly phenomena haunted the Baker household. Currently, their old house is a museum dedicated to the ghosts and spirits that once haunted it. Anna's wedding dress is one of the exhibits housed there to this day. Number three, the Bassano vase. The Bassano vase is thought to be one of the most haunted objects in the world. So haunted, in fact, that it's been secreted away by a shadowy cable of people who are concerned about the havoc the vase would wreak on mankind. It is now allegedly locked inside a coffin and buried somewhere deep underground. The history of the vase is shrouded in mystery. We know that it was originally gifted to a woman in northern Napoli as a wedding present. We also know that she was murdered shortly thereafter. The vase then moved through various members of her family, each of them in succession, meeting an untimely end. In 1988, the vase was randomly discovered in the desert, with a note inside it that said, Beware, this vase brings death. Its exact journey from that point on is lost to time. All we know is that if anyone ever finds it again, they'll be more than likely to turn up dead. Number two, Little Bastard. James Dean is one of the most iconic film performers in the history of the medium. With actual film appearances scant in supply, his legacy has far outshone his body of work. During the filming of one of Dean's most famous pictures, Rebel Without a Cause, he purchased a Porsche 550 Spider. The car was known for its rapid speed, stylish exterior, and smooth handling. However, only one week after buying the car, Dean was killed in a crash. It's said that his spirit haunted the body of the car after his death. How do we know this? Because after the car's wreckage was salvaged and sold at auction, it fell off the truck taking it to its new owner's home. It crushed the mechanic, almost killing him. Later, when someone tried to steal the car, the steering wheel's jagged metal cut open their arm, almost killing them. The car went missing soon after and has never been seen again. Number one, the Hope Diamond. The Hope Diamond is one of the most valuable pieces of jewelry in human history. Its legacy stretches back for generations. It is also rumored to have a deadly curse attached to it. Basically, every human who has ever come in substantial contact with it has met a tragic end. Guards, owners, and people who have borrowed it for galas have all met untimely ends. The victims of the Hope Diamond have been hanged by wild, angry mobs, committed gruesome suicides, or been torn to pieces by wild dogs. Their awful deaths have fostered a supreme sense of distrust in regards to the diamond. Usually when a stone is this valuable, there are throngs of people attempting to view or even touch this precious object. With the Hope Diamond, those crowds of people are decidedly more cautious. And on that note, like, comment, and subscribe to The Graveyard Shift. Check back next time, if you're brave enough, to find out what otherworldly events we'll chronicle next.